The fight of the decade is finally seeing the light of day. Yep, you heard that right. Gervonta Tank Davis versus Shakur Stevenson is finally in the works, and both guys can't wait to take each other's head off in the ring. The beef is as real as it gets, and trash talking has already begun from both sides of the battlefield. This much anticipated matchup has been making a lot of rounds on the internet, and it's safe to say all boxing pros can't help but give their predictions on who comes out victorious. There's a lot to unpack with this one, so without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the action. Gervonta Davis is coming off a huge victory over Frank Martin. It's funny how a lot of pros like Errol Spence Jr. gave Frank Martin the edge to win the fight. Let's just things did not go to plan as Frank got put to sleep in the eighth round. It was pure domination by Tank. Oh, left top of the oh, 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 goes Martin! Mamma mia! That's what happens when you try to dethrone the king. While everyone praised Tank for his impressive win, Shakur Stevenson had a much more interesting take. Shakur Stevenson didn't hold back. He said watching the fight was like seeing a pro boxer toy with an amateur. It was a bad matchup. Uh, it was a professional versus an amateur. Um, Frank Martin lost the fight in round one. And he, when Tank walked out and, and made him do exactly what he wanted him to do, he lost the fight. Uh, Frank went out there and just wasted a lot of energy in the first three or four rounds. And um, by round five, round six, especially with the weight problems that he was having, um, he got tired. And once he got tired, uh, his ball game tank uh, lined him up and got rid of him. If Gervonta really wants to showcase his talent, he needs to step into the ring with Shakur Stevenson. But according to Tim Bradley, it's the last thing Tank should do. Bradley gave his bold predictions in favor of Shakur Stevenson wiping the floor with Tank Davis. Now it's every other day you see a guy betting against Tank. He's the, he's the one to beat Tank, you think? Yeah. Yeah, and call, call me a hate. I don't give a damn. Yeah, y'all keep coming at me. Keep bringing that hate. Keep bringing that hate, baby. I love it. Keep bringing it. Yes, he beats Tank. He outboxes him. Very easy. No problem whatsoever. Floyd Mayweather, a legend in the fight world, has weighed in and picked his winner for this bout in his own unique style. Floyd, who, when we, when you think about the fighters who are fighting now, can you give me your your one, two, three, four, and five when it comes to the, the lightweight, who you would put where? As of right now, the two guys, the biggest puncher, I feel at, at the 135 would probably be Javante Tank Davis. Mm -hmm. But the most skillful fighter, skillful fighter at 135 would be hands down Shakur Stevens. What is it about him? Because I know you have a lot of good um, attributes, but do you think he has enough power to sustain? Well, it's, all, it's really all about skills. Pernell Whitaker wasn't a huge puncher, but he was, I mean, very exciting, very tough, and he fought everybody. Shakur is trying to do the same thing. He want to fight the best they got out there. I believe his contract is coming to an end, so hopefully we can come together and I can take him to that next level. With Floyd, it's always about skill over crazy power. The man won all 50 of his fights by relying on his technique and boxing IQ in the ring. So when Floyd speaks, you listen. He's throwing his support behind Shakur all the way. This legend knows what it takes to be unbeatable, and he's betting on Shakur's skills to come out on top. Terrence Bud Crawford gave his honest thoughts on this mega fight. What he said is just bad news for Shakur Stevenson. One thing I can say about Tank is he's smart. He can box. Yes. And he explosive. I see that being Shakur's toughest fight because of the power. Oscar Valdez, who's already been through the trenches with Shakur Stevenson, has sent a brutal warning to Gervonta Davis ahead of this fight. Tank's got power, but it won't matter if he can't catch Shakur. Is Shakur the guy that beats Gervonta, in your opinion? No, it's a tough one because Tank Tank carries a punch, but you gotta if you if you're gonna knock somebody out, you gotta first hit him. And Shakur is very difficult to hit. He's always a step away. You know, uh, Shakur, then what can I say? People saw the fight, you know, I gave him my best and, you know, try to land those shots is not, it's not easy. And even if you land those shots, it's in a defensive way where he's kind of backing up and you can't get him with a clean shot. 
to even land that, that knockout that everybody wants, you know? Former CEO of Mayweather Promotions, Leonard Alerbi, who's been making headlines lately due to his controversy with Floyd, believes Tank is going to steamroll Shakur. And it's not just Shakur. Alerbi says there's a whole list, including Devin Haney and Lomachenko, who won't pose any problems for Tank. According to Leonard, none of these guys stand a chance against him. He has a hit list, and he's going to get every one of these guys, that, who, these guys who y'all say are the top guys. Trust me. Trust me. Shakur's going to get that work. He asking for it, he going to get that work. But it ain't what he think it is. It ain't what he think it is. I can't wait for it to happen, though. How confident you are Tank could be fighting someone like a Devin Haney or a Shakur, uh, a Lomachenko next. Do you see that kind of a fight happening for Tank? All these guys, all these guys, who you guys, who you guys say are the top guys out there, Tank gonna get every one of these guys. He just can't fight them all in one night. He didn't already got Ryan Garcia out the way. Next is Frank Martin on the hit list. On the other hand, American professional boxer Keyshawn Davis is backing Shakur to do what 30 other fighters could not. How do you see that fight unfolding between Shakur and Tank Davis? Well, um, you never know in this sport, man, like in terms of who getting a fight first. Like who expected Frank Martin fighting, fighting Tank? You know, especially after the fact, you know, he didn't fight Shakur. So you, you already never know who will get the fight first. You know, I'm at a level where I am ready. So, you know, whoever Tank will want to fight first, it's really up to that man. You know what I'm saying? But in terms of him and Shakur, was, if there was to fight, I think Shakur would win. Like, I think Shakur got better skill. And of course, he's just better defensively. Like, I'm always going with the better skill, the better defensive fighter. Um, Tank's skill is phenomenal. But I just feel like he's an offensive. He's offense first. But before Shakur goes head to head with Gervonta Tank Davis, he's got a tune up fight lined up in July. First up, Shakur will defend his WBC lightweight belt against Armenian-born German Olympian Artem Harutyunyan on Saturday, July 6th at the Prudential Center in his hometown of Newark, New Jersey. However, Artem isn't much of a threat. With only 12 fights under his belt compared to Tank's 30, this bout won't prepare Shakur for the storm Tank is bringing. This fight is just a warm-up. The real test is yet to come. And what makes this fight even bigger is Floyd's role in it. You don't have to be a die-hard boxing fan to know that Floyd and Tank cannot stand the sight of each other anymore. The blood could not run any colder between those two, and things took an interesting turn when Floyd posted a video of Shakur calling Tank out on his Instagram story. Your beef is not with Floyd Mayweather. You sitting here beefing with Floyd. It's a fighter out here that's been calling your name that want to fight you. Javante Tank Davis, let's make the fight happen, man. I'm tired of tweeting. I'm tired of talking about it. Stop ducking me and let's make the fight happen. You already know whose side Floyd's on. Shakir Stevenson is our best shot at dethroning Tank Davis, and that's exactly what Floyd's rooting for. Money Mayweather is itching to see Tank take an L. Since Floyd has never lost, that's the only way to settle the debate on who's better, Floyd or Tank. Either this bout will break records. Tank versus Shakur is the fight to make. The fans can't wait to see how this one goes down. Let's see what the fans are saying. One fan tweeted this on X. We'll all do respect. I don't think anyone wants to watch Shakur versus anybody. He's a great fighter. Don't get me wrong at all. Shakur is one of the best fighters right now, but his style is just super boring. He moves to damn much. Nobody wants to see that at all. Gervonta Davis isn't the only one sounding off. Raleigh Romero has also thrown shade, calling Shakur the most boring fighter ever, with Devin Haney right behind him. When these big names are all saying the same thing, you know there's got to be some truth to it. Like, I'll be honest, you know, I, I, I used to think Devin Haney was the most boring fighter in dance sport. But at least Devin Haney tries to knock people out. It's just Devin Haney just has the inferior, you know, genetics, you know? His genetics are beyond horrible with his sloppy legs and his, his like, his weak body frame and all that stuff, you know? But Shakur, that's, that guy will put anybody to sleep outside the ring. Not inside the ring because that's, like, he's the most boring fighter in the history of boxing. And they can say whatever the fuck they want. They can hype him up and all that stuff. But I, I, I really feel bad for him because there's no way they can put him on pay-per-view. He can't sell a fight. Another fan commented, 
Tank beats everyone at 135, he's got too much power and he's too slick a boxer. He's not gonna bum rush and was to stay in a brawling. He is very calculated with what he throws, where, why. He barely threw anything the first four rounds. He's learned Mayweather's style, but with power, whoa, that's a killer take. Tank at 135 is a beast. He's got that knockout power and slick moves, just like Mayweather, but with more firepower. He's smart about it too, saving his energy and striking when it counts. No wild brawling, just pure calculated destruction. Tanks, definitely a force to be reckoned with at 135. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.